Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Properties and I am out at Mustang Lakes today to check on the Perry Home build that is just behind me. So they have completed the frame stage and they are waiting for windows and we are moving on to the electrical rough out. So I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna go check it out. So let's go. Awesome, it looks really, really good so far. Okay, so we've got a three car tandem Tandem means that one side is extra long, so you park one car in front of the other. And then coming in the front here, nice tall entryway. Okay, coming inside. This is a temporary door. All right, so that is, this upstairs part's gonna be open with a banister and wrought iron balusters that will be able to look over into this foyer. Nice, tall, two-story foyer. Beautiful. Over here we have an office, so that'll be a double door. It's beautiful. And then right here, this is where you come in from the garage. And on this side we've got a laundry room and a half bath, so that's a powder bath in here. And then laundry. And then we have a coat closet just right there. And then coming in, this is all open. It's really, really cool. So this is a dining room, formal dining, and it's open to the kitchen and the eat-in kitchen part and then the living area. This is a two-story uh, living room, so really tall ceilings, lots of natural light coming in. It's really, really pretty. So in your kitchen, there be the island in the middle, which has the sink and dishwasher. That's the plumbing in the middle of the floor that you're looking at. And then you've got your stove is gonna be right there. And your ovens will be on that same wall. Your refrigerator will be on that wall. And then you have a walk-in pantry in the corner. So that's really cool. And then there's room here for a table. And then turning around, we got our fireplace. And this is a really big area, so you could get a large sectional and another chair if you wanted. And then this is all open as well up at the top. So it all looks down over here. It's really cool. Really, really pretty. All right, coming in here, this is the master. And they've bayed the window, but it's rounded instead of having the corners in it. So it's really, I think that's really pretty. I like that tall ceilings. It'll have a um, bump up in the ceiling, so that's what that is. This will be a pop-up in the middle. Really cool. And then the master bath. Awesome. Okay, so this will just be a little powder, I mean a linen closet right here. Your tub is in the corner. That's what that platform is. We'll have a vanity right here as well as right next to the tub. So his and her vanities. And nice large step down shower as opposed to having a shower pan and then uh, this is the water closet and then the master closet this is a really good size and I look at the floor in these so it gives you a better idea of how big it's going to be so really cool and then a nice big window over the tub hopefully not completely clear <laughs> <laughs> don't want the neighbors looking in so oh let me look up too they've started the electrical rough outs so they've got the HVAC ducts already up they've got the electrical run all of these um, that light fixture in the middle is up and then you've got all your plugs outlets and stuff throughout so that is what electrical rough means and then also the plumbing rough which means that they've got well they're in the middle of getting the rest of those fixtures so like your toilets your tubs showers things like that all right, let's go upstairs. This is so pretty. So this will have an open banister on the side as opposed to like a half wall. I really like it when they open it like that. And then this is all open up here. This is beautiful game room. Or second living, however you want to look at it. And then right behind me, this is a media room. It's a media room, but a flex space, because there's a true media room would not have the windows in it, but lots of people aren't using their media rooms as a media room, so it's 
kind of cool to give the option to make it something else if you wanted to. Across here, we have a, another full bathroom and secondary bedroom. So full bath, you got a vanity and then the toilet and tub shower combo. And then the secondary bedroom, it's a good size. Perry always has really good size secondary bedrooms and walk-in closets. That's a very generous walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom. Awesome. Okay. And then we've got two more rooms across this little bridge walkway, which will be open on either side. A little scary if you have a fear of heights without any railings up here, but very cool. It's going to be really, really stunning. Okay. Um, we've got, so wall straight ahead, but we've got one room on this side and then a room on this side, and then they have a Jack and Jill bath in between. So secondary bedroom number two, and then the closet is right here in the bedroom. Sometimes the Jack and Jill's have the closets inside the bathroom. So they'll have the vanity is just for this room. And then the shared space is where the toilets and tub shower are. And uh, this is, this is a closet of some kind. I think that's a linen closet. Yes, that's a linen closet. Okay, and then this is the other side. So this is the Jack and Jill. This is the vanity for the other bedroom. And here's the other bedroom, which faces the front. Awesome. Did y'all see that golf cart just drive by? Lots of communities here. There's a closet. Lots of, sorry, I'm hearing them talk outside. They're being funny. Okay, lots of people have golf carts in these communities because it's easier to get around and like get to the amenity center and, um, and the kids can drive them, you know, as long as they're responsible. But, okay, we're gonna go check out the patio in the back, in the backyard. This, this is all really starting to come together. Awesome. So this is a 50 foot lot and a two story house has a smaller footprint, um, which is nice because that means the square footage goes up instead of out. Whereas a one story, you're trying to get as much square footage as possible all on one slab, right? So it takes up more space, giant patio. I love this patio, it's huge. And even though it's a 50 foot lot, when you put a two story house on it, you do get more backyard. So while this backyard is not like massive, it's still big enough to put a pool and have space left over. Okay guys, that wraps up the tour this week. We've got a lot that's happened since we were last here. I know that they are going to be installing windows at some point this week and completing the plumbing rough at this point. So lots of stuff still to come. If you are tuning in for the first time, I'm Nicole Roan. I work with Living Well Properties and I would love to help you with your new construction home. So if you are looking for a new home, please give me a call, text or email, or you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me on the button below. Until next time, guys, take care and God bless. Bye.